Hi, Rowan. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. I am wrong quite a bit. And I need to say I'm sorry for one of the times that I'm wrong now. I was wrong in the video for Aardvark. Because that was actually an anteater that we saw at the Animal Kingdom at Disney and not in Aardvark. Now both of them eat ants, but an anteater is substantially larger than an aardvark. An aardvark is about four feet long, a little bit bigger than your dog Nova. Anteaters tend to be six to eight feet long, the size of a large pig. Now they both have long snouts and they both eat ants. But anteaters live in South America along with sloths, which is why the sloth was in with the anteater. Second way I was wrong is that aardvark isn't from Dutch. Aardvark is from a language called Afrikaans. Afrikaans is a variant of Dutch. It's based off of Dutch. It's spoken in Southern Africa. So South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia, down that way. And it's when the during the colonial period in the 17, 1800s, the Dutch colonized Southern Africa. And uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the actress Charlize Theron grew up speaking Afrikaans. She came to America unable to speak English. Elon Musk was born in Pretoria. He's now the richest man in the world. He may one day be the richest man on Mars. We'll see how that one works out. But anyway, he was born in Pretoria, South Africa. And he grew up speaking Afrikaans. And if you hear him speak, you can occasionally catch a little bit of it in his accent. But anyway, Aardvark comes from Afrikaans, which is a language based on Dutch. And it's very close to Dutch. From what I've heard, it's almost understandable if you speak Dutch. It's like American English versus British English because the split happened about the same time. So while the English were coming to North America and going to Australia, the Dutch were going to South Africa. And then you had the whole Boer War, which we'll go into in a different video where the English conquered the Dutch in Africa. But you know, the late 1800s, early 1900s were wacky. Anyway, so as I started out this video saying I was wrong, and I try to go to church every Sunday, or at least watch the recorded services on Sunday morning because, you know, I'm trying to stay safe from the COVID and I don't want to catch it so I can, you know, have many, many more years with you. But part of the service is based on the first epistle of John. And it's part called Confession of Forgiveness. Where, you know, we say, look, you know, God, we know we've messed up. And the pastor says, Jesus forgives you. Jesus told me to tell you you're forgiven. And we read a bit of this First John, chapter 1, verses 8 through 8 and 9, actually. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, I mean, I know I make mistakes. And I'm pretty sure that you know you make mistakes, too. So, when you make a mistake, apologize. Work to correct it. And then try not to make it again. And I know I'll make lots and lots of mistakes in these videos. And if you point it out to me, I will correct it and apologize. Because, you know, that's the important thing. Have a great day.